crewmate designated the imposter. You are here today due to a worrying jump in employee turnover during your time working for Mira. But despite what you may think, his crimes aren't limited to just that. So let's hear the charges. Let's start off a little low-key with a few things the accused has failed to do, resulting in criminally dangerous working conditions. For example, during the fix wiring task, the junction boxes on all three current maps remain hooked up to the power grid and are still audibly coursing with electricity while being repaired. Which is bad, but really only an hors d'oeuvre to the criminal neglect main course. Allowing these pipes and valves to spray scalding hot steam at any and all passers-by is a lawsuit waiting to happen, but more importantly for our needs, a classic example of gross misdemeanour. And for the final such violation, while things actually get off to a pretty good start with the legally compliant refuelling setup in Mira HQ, both the Skeld and Polus fail to keep their containers of flammable liquid in a suitable storage cabinet between uses. Just unforgivable. But the damage doesn't even stop there. Rather than safely disposing of the facility's garbage in an eco-friendly and legally compliant manner, as seen here in the new airship officers, you just love to see it, the defendant instead opts to eject all waste into the surrounding environment, something he also presumably does with the waste he cleans from O2. But forget about the environment, what about what really counts? Money. During the garbage and shoot tasks, the accused's lack of basic visual cognition results in this enormous diamond being released into the void, effectively destroying, or at least heavily damaging, company property. Now let's turn our focus to the defendant's conduct towards his fellow crewmates. Despite constantly having his own personal identification documents to hand, the accused still, nevertheless, mostly makes use of his fellow crewmate's documentation to complete general admin, falsifying his identity on the records. He is so set on masquerading as other crewmates that he'll even steal their entire wallet, along with all the contained possessions and cash, to achieve this goal. But why would the accused want to avoid leaving a paper trail of his activities around the workplace? His fellow crewmate Green has a theory. Would the witness please take the- Okay, don't panic. Uh, I just need to go check on something real quick. Okay, there we go. Wait. Where's the witness? In their absence, I guess we'll have to just move on. But that's fine, actually, because this whole situation just reminded me of something. Facilities staffed by the accused seem to be overly prone to similar misfortunes. These include reactors suspiciously melting down, facilities being deprived of their oxygen, and even drilling devices causing earthquakes, all on company property. Oh, and of course, such sabotages have the side effect of being an attempt to kill all the crew on board, so yeah, that's also worth noting. On the topic of crewmate death, we received plenty of reports that a tense working environment mixed with a heavy dose of paranoia, resulted in several innocent crewmates meeting grisly ends due to the false belief that it was all in self-defence. 
And unluckily for the accused, these votes to eject his colleagues were logged with his actual employee ID. But is that where his involvement in the process ended? I think not. A thankfully pre-prepared witness statement from Blue suggests the accused was actually the source of such misinformation on several occasions. And while lies aren't punishable by jail time, using them to manipulate third parties into committing murder on your behalf is absolutely in the big book of crime. I should know, I own two copies. Oh, by the way, imposter, I think you dropped something when I was at the reactor earlier. Don't worry, it's not still there. I picked it up for you to make sure you didn't lose it. Have it back. Here. Yes, that's right. Not only did the accused fall into my clever trap and kill Green, RIP, obviously, but we also have eyewitnesses and security footage placing him at the scene of several other grisly murders. Yes, imposter, it is time to panic. We've finally got you now. The imposter. The internet court has heard your terrible crimes, and totalling up your despicable deeds, it brings me great pleasure to sentence you to an- Sorry, I was on mute. Blue did it. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit late for that though, the evidence has already been- Look, I absolutely saw Blue vent. At least I think it was venting. I'm new to the game, so I don't really know what that looks like. My god. And to think we nearly let you get away with it. Blue. Huh? What? You tricky trickster. All those tasks you've been doing to get on our good side. <laughs> you're, you're good. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Oh, come on. We literally all just saw Red Duke. Denied. The sentence for all those crimes I said before is... 316 years imprisonment, which in space years is death. Whoa! No! Ah, <sighs> good riddance. There's nothing quite like the thrill of keeping people safe. Hey there! Thanks for watching. Special shout outs today go to Joseph Anderson and Ashwin, who lent me their voices for my own devious machinations. Subscribe for more of me, and watch the playlist for more gaming crimes. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Oh, and also, I was the second imposter.